So speaking of Biden, he also made this ridiculously absurd claim that white supremacy is a uh, bigger racism than ISIS or Al Qaeda. We must not give hate a safe harbor. As I said in my address to the joint session of Congress, according to the intelligence community, terrorism from white supremacy is the most lethal threat to the homeland today. Not ISIS, not Al Qaeda, white supremacists. That's not me. That's the intelligence. Just because he says something doesn't make it true. Okay, so if you're watching this on the video, I'm going to pop up a statistic kind of chart here of the interracial crime, uh, violent crime rates between 2012 and 2015. And what you're going to see here is, well, let's look at that. Let's look at that first column to the far left. You see black on white crime. Okay, 540,000 or 540,873 of these violent crimes committed from black people towards white people. And then in the second column right there, only 92,706 crimes, violent crimes that were from white people to black people. Okay. And if you go all the way to the far right, you'll see that there's actually a decent amount of even black on Hispanic crime. Actually, if you look at just the top things there, you're seeing that blacks are significantly more responsible for committing violent crimes towards white people, towards Hispanic people. There's a decent amount of Hispanic on white too. Very little white though. And keep in mind, guys, who's the majority in the country? <laughs> Who's the vast majority? What's the percentage of actual black people in the United States right now? It's 13%. By the way, those stats aren't even are even smaller than that, really, in the total population, because I guarantee you all, if not most of these, are black men, which only make up six percent. So it it just goes to show just how ridiculous these numbers really are when you actually look at what they are. In other words, white supremacy, it's not the problem. It's not the problem. It never has been the problem. It's what they want you to think is the problem because that's the way the Democrats operate. The thing is that Biden has no proof to back up that claim. Just because he's saying it doesn't make it inherently true. But the thing is that realistically, we have to be looking at the BLM riots from last year. I mean, look at what took place. I mean, they destroyed property, cities. I mean, the the actual damage from not only just uh, violent crimes and homicides, but also just structural damage to cities and businesses that blind people committed last year is astonishing. Absolutely astonishing how much crime was committed, how many cities and businesses were burned down in the namesake of BLM, of Black Lives Matter, the worst organization ever, which has really turned into a terrorist organization because whenever it doesn't get what it wants, it organizing uh, with an organization in an organized fashion goes in and riots and loots and black people get killed, white people get killed, every, a lot of people, different people get killed from this movement. You just watched a clip from The William Hall Show. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.